The ocean is alive. Everything on Earth needs it to survive. You, me, everything. We love the ocean. It's like our home. And so just care for it and love it and respect it. Because, you know, when we're in the ocean, we're, we're in the ocean's territory. Like we're in the, all of those animals, it's like we're in their home when we enter the water. And so just like respect it and care for it and it will care for you back. As a Hawaiian girl, born and raised in Hawaii and right on the beach, I rely a lot on the ocean, not just for surfing, but for diving and fishing and being able to live off of the ocean. Back in the day, that's what the Hawaiians relied on. They relied on the ocean and what it had to offer. The reef is also alive, a living, breathing organism. A place that provides oxygen and protection, a beautiful and essential ecosystem. A hurting and dying victim. In pursuit of our happiness and what we call progress, we've grown to be careless and lacking awareness. Unless we change our definition of success, the reef will soon become lifeless and everything with it. The way we mindlessly destroy the coral is completely immoral. And yet, we've allowed it to become normal. Over a billion people worldwide rely on the reef for their main source of food and income. The reef acts as a barrier for our coastlines, protecting it from crashing waves and severe storms. The coral reefs provide an essential ecosystem, providing many species of marine life food shelter, and spawning grounds. 50% to 80% of the Earth's oxygen comes from the coral reef. The loss of the reef would be catastrophic to all of creation. The thing is that if we value our lives, as well as the lives of all of creation, we don't just want the ocean to survive. We want it to thrive. Everything is connected. You cannot destroy one aspect of creation and expect the rest not to be affected. Our ocean is facing a dangerous prognosis. Yet, this battle for life isn't hopeless. If you look closely, you can see it's still alive. To continue to abuse it would be unwise. We need to slow down and realize that in order to survive, we need to prioritize the protection of this life.